Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? We're on to episode 16, Crossing. Yes. Previously, we lost Ragnar, and Ivor was delivered safely home, where he had to learn yet, that yet another parent has been has been killed. Things are in motion, and they're not coming back. Ivar's uh, trying to rally everybody together to avenge their father. And he's pissed. Skull fam. What if Ragnar is dead? Ragnar can't be dead. But I for said... Ivar didn't see Ragnar die. You know it's true. I must pick up the burden of ruling. I think Ragnar is looking at me, and I can't disappoint him. Or you, or Torfi, or any of the shield maidens who have died fighting at my side. She's got tough choices to make. Yeah. We have to prepare. The sons of Ragnar will come to claim vengeance. Not upon me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Ragnar and I... We're alike in many ways. I'm not talking about Ragnar. I'm talking about his son, Ivor. I'm about to say, his sons don't have the same feelings for you. The sons of Ragnar will doubtless return to these shores. And there is no better man than you to raise an army and make every preparation. Well, I screw your wife even more. <laughs> God, every time. He's keeping the guy out of the castle. Yes. What are we going to do? If father is dead, it is possible that Lagatha might change her mind about keeping us alive. How can we trust her? We can't. God, they're under full guard here, aren't they? Uh -huh. Mother and father. I can't believe it. We must buy that time. We would be fools to give ourselves away so quickly. I think Uba's starting to grow up a little here. His life's on the line. He's got a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, boy. <laughs> he hasn't really had a chance to mourn. She's been dead for a while. Today marks a new dawn for Katakat. Katakat has changed so much in the last few years. It is now the largest, richest trading center in Norway. My bad. Well done. It is my belief that we should begin to build fortifications, ditches, and palisades around this site. Those who share my belief, say I. Yeah, we can begin to make Katagat great again. <laughs> Build the wall. I mean, they're doing pretty good as is, but, but she's right, you need defenses. Oh my. Making an entrance, I see. I don't think he intends to. It's just the way it works out. I've come here for justice. Everyone knows that you killed my mother for no reason. Ivor, don't touch me, coward. Wow. You murdered my mother in cold blood. I challenge you to single combat. That's a heck of an ask. I refuse to fight you, Ivor Lothbrook, son of Ragnar. Why? I don't want to kill you. I still think she'd do it. I don't care, just as long as you know that one day I will kill you, Lakata. Her fate is fixed. The same way she used our last husband, too. Do you think we are lost, Loki? No, we are lost. And so am I. I'm hollow. I need something to fill me up. Someone give this man a drink. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I want a baby. No, Elga. Yes, I need something more from this life. But not a child. Don't you remember? Of course I remember. Life goes on, man. Come on. Yeah, man, come on. What will they think? The people there. I don't know anything about them. They call them Musulman. And they worship a god named Allah. Yeah. Margaret. I haven't seen you in a while. I've missed you. I didn't know if you would forgive me for tricking you and then... You're a slave. I don't blame you. That's awfully nice of you. Can I see you? At least you're asking for her consent. She didn't get too many opportunities to give it. So. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, this is different. <laughs> no guards. These Vikings are just going to walk right in the front door. Look at them. They're not being subtle at all. How do you have no guards in this place? And back to killing civilians. I remember what I don't like about the Vikings now.
Floki, is this an enticing religion to you? <laughs> Don't tell me that's what's giving you fulfillment. That'd be interesting. That guy stopped to get a sandwich. <laughs> That could have been bad. <laughs> right in front of the child. Wow, well, that's right. Those guys are just ruthless killers. Yeah, they're still barbarians. Where the hell are you going, Floki? We need provisions and water. Come on. You a master thief now? A little trick he learned from raiding churches. <laughs> oh, they're just not going to be interrupted in the middle of prayer. Mm -mm. I think they're just praying for their safety. This has all got to be a very alien to Floki. Mm-hmm. Not these guys. Loki, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. He's attracted to something about the place. Yeah. Who are you? Ivar, if you're crawling around in there already. Ragnar, I knew you would come, my love. Don't leave me. She's still deeply in love with him. Uh -huh. I guess she accepts his death. If she sees him like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's their security. One man yeah. in a hallway with a knife. Close quarters. <laughs> This is a shorter fight than I thought it would be. I know. There's got to be, like, very little honor to all this here. Well, they're not here for honor. They're here for loot. I thought they were here for provisions. <laughs> well, that too. Okay. <laughs> what kind of place is this? It's a temple. Where are their gods? I can't see any. And yet they're praying with such passion. Yeah. I hate that noise. <clears throat> Cut his head off? No. Stop. Seriously, it's ridiculous. No more killing. I forbid it. If you want to kill these people, you have to kill me first. They might. I wouldn't try to fight Floki. You heard what Floki said. We're not going to kill these people. Leave. Well, that's a big character change for Floki. That's interesting. What is your obsession with this little girl? Are you going to adopt her? I don't think she wants you as her mama. <laughs> but that's what that is, obsession. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how green you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly he's never seen a mirror before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he kill himself? I guess. He killed himself. <laughs> Doing whoever you're guarding there, no favors. <laughs> what do you think he was guarding? Mm. Nothing by the way he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, not nothing. He's got the harem. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of beautiful women. Please don't be afraid. <laughs> She was safer with her parents. One day I would fly, gather with good art. Oh, yeah, they're gonna sell them as slaves. Uh -huh. Poor girls. She, she's an orphan. So, what do you want to do with her, Elga? I want to take her with us. No, Elga. Yes. No. Look, no. she is coming. No, she's not. No, she's staying. I am taking someone with me. 
She Maybe. was creepy. It is a little bit actually. Like where where did you where did this weirdness come from you for Helga? I mean she did say she wanted another kid. Alright, well I think you could go about it a <laughs> different way here. All hail Queen Lagatha. I saw Ragnar. Yes, I also saw him on his way to Valhalla. Can you not eat while we're talking? Yeah, it's kinda of weird and gross. Will the sons of Ragnar kill me? Did you not hear me? Yes, I heard you. I'm eating here. <laughs> I have some courtesy. Will I be killed? Yes. Well, but which one? Uh. Oh, stop. Get that thing out of her eye. We made it, Ironside. At last. The Mediterranean. I thought they were all standing there pissing over the edge for a second. <laughs> it's beautiful. Do you hear ravens? Yeah. Other little piggies were cramped when they hear the old pots. Fitzwick, did you hear him too? Yes. They heard that? I think they got the message from the ravens. There he is. Took long enough. Father is dead, killed by serpents in the cold iron earth. Ragnar lies. You should have just told him that, huh? <laughs> you gotta manage that anger, kid. <laughs> he's there too. I guess he's there for confirmation that Ragnar is in fact dead. And he's there mm -hmm. too. It is so Odin. It is Odin, yep. yeah. My father is dead. He gladdens me to know that Odin prepares for a feast. The ravens are all around where he's at. And I welcome the Valkyries to summon me home. Freaking hurricane. Yeah, man, it's getting serious here. Ragnar was beloved by the gods after all. Mm hmm. Wish he knew. So first of all, I did not approve of that raid, personally. But I mean, this, yes, I understand they're Vikings and this is what they do. <laughs> yes. But it's like, come on, guys, these, 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 these folks aren't putting up any fight. Take take their shit and just go. You don't well, have to kill everybody. I mean, some of them are still trying to fight back, even though they don't have the weapons to do it. But you're right, I mean, it is mindless slaughter. You know, we've seen before, they, they disdain people of other faiths. So they're not going to care, they're just Muslims as far as they're concerned. I don't even know what they are, I don't think. I, I, I doubt that Rolo told everybody what they are. Mm -hmm. He's just like, hey, there's a village over here. Funnily enough, Rolo would be the one who, with the most reason to fight them just because, as a French lord, it'd be his heritage. But Rolo's case, I get it, man, because these people are, like, knocking on your doorstep there. Yeah, because that, that, that was one of the big things that Charlemagne did was, you know, he stopped the Muslim expansion out of Spain. Mm. And so, you know, he has to live with that as a, as a lord of France. So he's got to make sure that, you know, he, he does take the Muslim threat th seriously. Sure. Everyone else, you know, they're just there for provisions, but, you know, they want to kill people because they can. And they did. And, and, the, and the, the thing that, I guess, bothers me here now, mm -hmm. Helga's kind of gone off the deep end a little bit here in, like, no time flat. She's gotten really obsessed over this child in a very creepy way. Yeah. And it's like, wow, you just killed her mother and now you want to adopt her? You think she's going to love you? I don't think so. Well, I mean... She didn't specifically kill her mother, but you know, the Vikings did. But in that little girl's eyes, she's no different. Right. You're you're part of the problem here, so... I don't know, I think she's playing a dangerous game here. I think she is too, both for her and for the little girl. Even if you're willing to accept her, and Floki's willing to accept her, that doesn't mean that everyone else is going to. No, not at all. And you don't know how she's going to react, because you don't speak each other's language. And then the other thing yeah. too is you're taking back all these slaves who also yeah. know the same language some of them might know who this girl is you know if you have her running around loose on the outside that could end up being a problem for you oh yeah i don't know they're probably just gonna go in and go to the highest bidder though but i mean they still you still gotta boat them back yeah so you know who's to say they don't try and off you in the middle of the night that's a possibility yeah yeah just don't put them on beer well Buren's gonna want some of those beautiful women on he had his eye on one at least yeah what's confusing me more is like floki floki's whole character arc through like the last 
three and a half seasons is I hate Christians. I hate anybody who embraces Christianity. I, I hate people over the face. I'm you no know, 100% for Vikings culture. Sure. And then he walks into a Muslim temple and is like, you know, these are respectable people. Leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, they were just kind of peacefully at prayer there. Yeah. And they didn't really get, like, distracted at all. And I think that kind of impressed him a little bit. It's like, well, your faith is more important than anything I'm doing. So it's like they're so devoted that he's actually he actually respects them. Because you're right. My, that's my idea. Because you're right. When they walk into the Christian church, everyone just kind of panics and looks around mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, what's happening here? Whereas these guys have such high belief that they don't even bother to react to the, the Vikings' presence. Well, as far as they're concerned, you know, it's like they're will they're ready to die, however that happens. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be kept from their faith. So mm -hmm. interesting. That's that's my take on it. So in a way, they're they're almost very Viking-like in, in the fact that they embrace death however it comes. Well, you saw it. Yeah, I mean, you saw that one. How the I guess what would you be called? The Imam over there, the the leader of their prayer worship, their worship, probably something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you saw him, like, one guy cut his head off because he didn't like the sound he was making. Mm -hmm. Nobody else Nobody flinched. flinched, yeah. It's like they were, they're all ready, you know? I can't say I uh, fully disagree here with Floki there. I mean, whether, whether you agree with Muslim, with the Muslim faith or not, you gotta, you gotta admit that was brave. Yeah, I guess, in a way. Brave or naive, you could call it either way, I think, but... I don't know. At, at that moment, you're you're outmatched, outgunned. These guys are everywhere. They're, you're not gonna survive whatever they're gonna do. No, they weren't, but... I'm thinking back to the conversation that, you know, Eckbert and Ragnar had about, you know, is religion really, you know, a reliable thing? You're confident in your faith, but is it necessarily the best thing for you? Because as we saw, a lot of people just died. Yeah. They, you know, they lost all their provisions. They lost all their wealth. Their faith really helped them. Probably not much. If it's the one thing that you have that, bring, that brings you closer to a higher being, mm -hmm. or I guess, and you're that devoted to it, what else is there to argue about? You can't argue with somebody like that. Right. So, you know, that's that's just how that's going to be. Yeah, I think you're right. There's the question, too, of uh, what's going to happen to Lagatha now. Because we had talked about it in the previous episode, you know, now that Ivar is aware of the fact that his mother was killed by Lagatha, he was going to want revenge, and he made that perfectly clear. <laughs> tried to force the matter right there in front of everybody else. And she, she went to the seer, and the seer said, yes, yeah, you're going to die at the hands of a son of Ragnar. Hmm. So there's five still alive that I know of. So we got Uba, we got Vitzirk, and Ivor. And Seeger. And Seeger, sorry. Yeah, you're right, five. And then, yeah, and then Bjorn. Well, yeah, he's, he's the... He's, yeah. And he's the oldest. Yeah. So. so the question is, which one of them goes through with it? Ivar obviously seems like the, the loose cannon. He's the, uh, he, I mean, he's, he's certainly the, uh, you know, the ideal candidate for this, I guess, if you will. Mm -hmm. Then I think you made a good point, too, in that you know, Uba showed that he's kind of manning up a little bit when they're talking in the lake there earlier. He's really considering, you know, you have to be careful with everything you do, because one misstep and you'll give her the perfect excuse to kill you. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't have mom or dad there to protect you anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah, it's like it's time to start thinking and thinking properly. If I'm him, it's like, man, you better tread cautiously here. They're not killing you, and it doesn't look like she has any intention to kill you. Mm -hmm. I don't know that revenge is necessarily warranted here, other than the fact that Lagatha did shoot her in the back. And she looked like she did it like with with zero remorse. So right, that might be the way you do it. Shoot her in the back. Yeah, eye for an eye. Well, we've seen that um, Ivar can handle a bow. Certainly. And she probably wouldn't see it coming. No. And you know what that would mean? If Ivar actually did that, he then would be king of Kattegat. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ragnar did say people, you know, remember Ivar the bonus. Oh man, I didn't even think about that until just now. Yeah. He, he was like sitting in that chair knowing full well he's crippled, just challenges her right there in front of everybody. I still feel like Lagatha would win that fight, but Ivor is crafty. I would want to see that fight just to see how good he actually is. She'd come at him, but he, but he's like got all that upper body strength. Yeah. And I think that mixed and matched with his Ragnar sense up here. He's got the skill, but she's got the experience. And that's the thing. She's a very experienced shield maiden. Yeah. She's been in way more fights than he has. He's just killed a few people. Mm -hmm. so, in his defense, he did kill at a very young age. So. True. I'm not sure she does. So killing is not a problem for him. Yeah. I kind of feel like though this is going to sit on the back burner because we saw there at the end, Odin came around to all the sons and said, hey, you know, your father's dead. Yeah. I, I think that's going to motivate everyone to concentrate on that at the moment. And I'm not sure. And Lagatha, she actually saw Rack. Supposedly, I don't see him. But... <laughs> her and the seer. Yeah. I don't know. There was somebody in the shadows there, but it looked like he was pissing into the wall. So <laughs> that sounds like something Ragnar would do. Yeah. But that means uh, that means the uh, the armada's got to come back now. 
Yeah. Because it looks like vacation's over. Yeah. It seems like they have a new business. But I mean, he's uh, he's fulfilled what uh, what Torvi said. Come back with uh, something you haven't seen before. It's like, well, I'm bringing these slaves back. That ought to be enough. So slaves, yeah. gold from another land, maybe oh. some maybe some nice silks, Who knows? and enough provisions to get you home. So. Yeah. Drop Rolo off and go. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm curious if Rolo would stay with him. He's like, screw this. I'm I'm ready to stay Viking here. <laughs> I they would kill him. I think. <laughs> I think if it's like I decided to go, they'd probably just go out into the middle ocean and push you out. He just walks into the castle in his sleeveless shirt, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Wife? <laughs> well, she might get a kick out of that. A couple of slaves with him. Just, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. I say it might be an interesting reunion, I'll say that. There's lots to look forward to here. There's a, there's some moving parts going on. So yeah. I was kind of not a fan of the, uh, the whole Spanish thing here anyway. Yeah, let's get back to Family Feud. Yes, please. Let's just get back to familiar territory. Mm. England. Mm. Set your eyes on England. Yes. Like you all should have been doing anyway. <laughs> Fam, that's going to do it for us. As always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop another one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. And also consider joining up by uh, becoming a member. Hit that join button. It's not required and uh, we certainly don't recommend it, but we'd love to have you guys anyway. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam, Skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, guys.